Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Rough House for another exciting episode of Maxine Versus. I'm Bruce Todd. With me as always is Doug Lefever. Today we're going to see Maxine the Fluffy Corgi go up against the toughest toys in the pet game. Today in the Rough House, we got a good one for you. A real David versus Goliath as Maxine goes up against the Dog Brick. Let's go down to the studio to take a closer look at our competition. Now the Dog Brick comes to us from Outward Hound and Nina Otteson. The Dog Brick is a level two treat puzzle that's got a lot more up its sleeve than the name suggests. To beat her opponent, Maxine will have to navigate around five different tree compartments. She'll need to figure out how to flip open the red squares, remove the angled white bones, and finally slide both of the red squares to reveal the fourth and fifth tree compartments of the dog break. Easily the trickiest part of this puzzle and surely what makes the dog break a level two competitor. Coming into the Rough House with a clean record of zero wins and zero losses, the dog break again, it's a level two treat puzzle, five different treat compartments with 20 total treats that Max will need to secure if she wants the big W today. And we're giving this toy a projected joy rating of seven out of a total 10 points. I think she's gonna have a lot of fun with this one today. What do you think, Doug? Oh, is it, is it my turn now? With an undefeated record of zero wins and zero losses, Maxine holds the title for the undisputed fluffy weight champion. She's fluffy, she's fierce, and she's ready for a fight. Let's go ringside for tonight's main event. I'm just. Now right out of the gate, she's gonna go and sniff her way around. Interesting strategy that she's gonna really take her time and be very thoughtful with where she wants to start. Let's see where she dives in first. She's really leading with her nose there, Bruce. Her dog's known for their sense of smell. Indeed, it seems like she's sniffing something out. This could be our first treat. It very might well be. There it is, treat number one in the books. <laughs> wow, she got that crazy fast. And going in for number two, seems like she's using her nose on the lip there. Let's see if she can use that to her advantage. I noticed she really seems to be going after those red boxes. Is red one of her favorite colors? Well, actually, dogs can't see color, so it's very interesting that they're using different shades here with this toy. Right, right. Oh, look at that. She really launched that white brick right out of the park. That was a moonshot. She's got it. She's flipped it open. Number two. There she goes, really using her nose to slide those red bricks in and out. I gotta admit, this looks super hard. Let me ask you something. Why not just give her the treats? Well done. Treat puzzles like this are designed specifically to stimulate dogs, both mentally and physically. Watching this, I feel pretty mentally and physically stimulated myself. And that's number five. We've knocked off the first column here in the Rough House. She's gonna move on to the second one, going right for that brick. There it is. Very smart. And she's already flipped up the other container. This fight's gonna be over before it even gets started. She's getting through this toy really quickly. Let me ask you something, Bruce. How do you think I would fare on a toy like this if I couldn't use my hands? Well, you seem pretty intelligent, so I think, I think you'd be able to figure it out. Do you think her short arms are holding her back? Well, it doesn't seem like she's using her arms that much. She's really gonna go nose first, and that's the way this puzzle was designed. You'll notice the top of every single compartment there's a hole, and that's so the dogs can sniff out those treats. Smells like a winner to me. Seems like she's really getting the hang of it now. I know if it was me doing it, I would try to use my hands to maybe shake out the treats, you know, or lift them. And now look at her, she's really having fun. She's trying to go teeth first into that red brick. You look at a scene like this and you really gotta feel bad for that dog brick. It is all over the place right now. Right you are, Doug. She's gotta remove that white brick. There she goes, she's removed it. Unbelievable dental dexterity, there it is. Dexterity, that's a big word. Hey, Doug, knock, knock. Who's there? Oh, it's Maxine, and she's here to eat you up. It looks like she's just playing games with that dog brick now. Well, that's the point, Doug. It's a game. You know what's the treat for me in all this, Bruce? What's that, Doug? Sitting next to my best friend. You said it. Maxine is really making a mess of this toy. She's knocking the white bricks all over the place, which is a very effective strategy. I'm getting dizzy just watching her walk around this thing. Do dogs vomit often? I think she's just retracing her steps here. She's got one more treat that she's gotta go and find. And it looks like, it looks like she's getting there. Oh, Maxine's on the scent now. She's hunting down the last treat. She's going teeth first. She's flipping it up. I think she's got it. There it is. She's got it. Oh my God, she's got it. She's got it. Oh down God. goes Dog Brick. Down goes Dog Brick. Down goes Dog Brick. We have a winner. We have a winner. Maxine has beaten the Dog Brick in record time. Two minutes and 53 seconds. Wow, what a performance by Maxine. Seems like those short arms were an advantage. She's low to the ground and she sniffed out every single one of those treats. Let's go to the fluff report. Maxine secured 100% of the treats. The physical form of the toy really held its own up against Maxine. We're giving that an eight out of a total 10 points. In terms of function, there was a lot of variety in these tree compartments that kept the dog completely engaged the entire time. We're giving that a nine out of a total 10 points. You had white bricks, you had red bricks, you had flip open toppies, and you had little slidey things. It was a lot of fun. And in terms of fun, Maxine had a blast, we had a blast. We're giving this toy a total 10 out of 10, giving the dog brick an overall score of 
27 out of 30, earning the official Maxine Versus seal of approval. There it is, Doug. For Maxine Versus, I'm Bruce Todd. And I'm Doug LaFever. We'll smell you later. We'll see you, we'll see you next time.